Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make a DIY sea turtle bathroom step stool. This is a very easy to make project and it's perfect for toddlers who can't reach the sink or countertops, etc. We start with um, one piece of a 1x4, which is going to be cut uh, into three pieces that are going to create a U-shaped base uh, for the stool. We're going to cut a 15 degree angle on two of the sides and then you'll see that the uh, the top part of that assembly also has a, a 15 degree angle uh, cut on both ends uh, to match. That's going to be the angle that the legs protrude at. We're going to use a piece of 1 by 10 uh, cut to size to form both of the legs, the left and the right leg. Now I, I drew a circle, I just used a, a, a disc to create a circle. Um, it's really just decorative. But I did trim uh, each one of those legs uh, on an angle uh, so that it wasn't just a big, a big square leg. All of the parts are going to get assembled by pre-drilling the holes, uh, applying glue, Elmer's glue or wood glue, and then screwing uh, everything together with with wood screws. And the holes can be cut out uh, either with a uh, bandsaw or even with a jigsaw would be fine. Now the top and the bottom of each of these legs also has that 15 degree angle on it. The total length of um, this base is about 15 and a half inches. But that's going to be dependent on the design that you that you want to mount on top of this uh, nautical uh, bathroom step stool. <clears throat> that's the finished base. You can see that both legs are at an angle. It gives that that base of the stool makes it nice and secure. And then we're just going to screw on uh, our sea turtle to the top of this. This one is about 15 and a half inches in total length. Now the sea turtle I've drawn onto a piece of 1 by 10. And you really want to make the design so that it covers the majority of the base. You don't really want to see too much of that base uh, through the turtle. You also want to make sure that, that you know, the, the wings, uh, the head um, of the turtle are secure. You don't want them uh, protruding too much off of the base because if a kid's, you know, jumped up and down on them, they, they could possibly break off. Anyway, just to start, we're going to cut out the shape of the turtle. Um, I, I started on a bandsaw. I actually ended up using a jigsaw. I found it easier to make all of the uh, all of the cuts. The shape cuts out very, very quickly, very easily. Said I used a <clears throat> jigsaw to complete the cuts. It was just a little bit easier with all of the curves, a few of the tight spaces. And once that turtle is completely cut out, it's going to get mounted onto the stool's base, now, again with wood glue or Elmer's glue and some wood screws. doing a test fit here making sure that it covers most of the base and that you know all of the wings and arms are are secure enough the one uh, wing uh, sticks out a little bit too far I'm actually going to make a, a, a bracket that attaches uh, to the base that's just going to secure that a little bit uh, before I screw this turtle onto the base I'm just going to use a disc grinder with a flap wheel uh, sanding disc uh, just to smooth over all of the edges, round uh, over all of the edges. Um, and also, I'm going to use this to cut some um, grooves in the turtle. Uh, for example, just distinguishing the shell uh, from the rest of the body or from his legs and arms. This is a very quick tool. moves a lot of, um, of wood very quickly. You have to be a little bit careful with it. And you can just 
shape those legs as you'd like. You don't want to create too much of a curvature um, on the legs or on the body uh, because it's a stepping stool. You want this thing to be pretty flat uh, so that kids, toddlers especially, can stand on it. Uh, here you can see that extra piece that I screwed onto the front of uh, the bottom brace or the bottom bracket and that's just going to secure um, or hold in place that lower wing so that it won't be as likely to snap off under weight. Like I said before, I'm just going to glue that in place and then I am going to screw it uh, in position with about four or five wood screws and just making sure that those wood screws um, go through the first piece of wood but don't go all the way through the turtle. Now additional details can be added to this um, turtle with a, a Dremel grinder. I like to use a cutoff wheel. Um, I cut grooves for the shell. Um, I did the mouth, I did some outlines, um, I added some texture to each of the fins, uh, all with the same uh, Dremel tool. I then used a uh, drill with a speed bore, and I just drilled partially uh, through the wood uh, to create the turtle's eye. And after this is all done, really it just needs a, a good sanding. Um, you can use some caulk to fill in uh, all of the screw holes in all of the corners and then you can just paint this um, and after uh, one or two coats of a nice quality high gloss paint you have a finished product very simple easy to make nautical bathroom step stool in the shape of a sea turtle please check us out on the web at DIYeasycrafts.com be sure to check out our other how-to videos and if you like this video I ask that you please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.